I'm MJ with MJ Fit. We're a small boutique gym in the Denver Tech Center. We opened in 2018 and then had an expansion in 2019 at the very end of it. So we finished it in December of last year. And of course we were just getting up and running just in time for the pandemic shutdown to hit. And so I hadn't been paying myself because we just expanded and I was gonna hustle for a few months and then add myself onto payroll. So I would work side hustles on the weekends and that's how I was really paying for personal expenses. However, when the pandemic hit, I did have to start paying myself at that point, but because I wasn't previously on payroll, I didn't qualify for any of the pandemic unemployment assistance and we didn't get very much for the Paycheck Protection Program because me being the only full-time employee wasn't on the payroll. So we didn't receive much government funding uh, like promised and that was really unfortunate, especially because I hadn't taken out any loans and I had been bootstrapping it this entire time. So there was a lot of forgiveness for some of the SBA loans, but that didn't pertain to us considering I hadn't taken out any funding. I was really proud of myself for hustling for the last several years of my life, trying to get my business up and running without having to take out loans and putting my business into debt. That was something I was really proud of and, and it came back to haunt me really. So through the pandemic, I didn't qualify for the unemployment personally. So I did have to start paying myself out of my business, which wasn't in the budget for multiple reasons, pandemic being a huge one. And then the other one that we had just expanded, and of course that was costly, and we had paid for it out of the gym budget versus taking out any funding. And so I just hustled through it, tried to pay myself as minimal as I could. I also had to create a catastrophe plan just in case my business didn't succeed or the pandemic didn't allow us to open up as soon as it did. And that included filing bankruptcy, of course, but had I paid myself, taken out loans and qualified for funding, all of that would have been forgiven had I filed for bankruptcy. So that was an unfortunate lesson to learn that if I had done it, in my opinion, in not as great of a way as I did, all of that would have been forgiven and I wouldn't have had to pay any of that funding back and I could have been paying myself lavishly for the last few years versus working side hustles and working my butt off in the gym and, and on the weekends outside of it just to make ends meet and to make my business successful and to provide the service to my clients that I knew I wanted to and fulfill my passion. And so it was really unfortunate of a lesson to learn that in doing that, that it ended up haunting me and actually being a negative thing. However, we hustled through it and did not have to file bankruptcy and thankfully we're able to open up as quickly as we did. But being in the position now, realizing things are starting to shut back down again, that some of the mandates are affecting gyms, thankfully bigger gyms, not small boutique gyms like the one I own, but at this point it's, it's a little nervousness around it for fear that it's going to start to affect all small businesses and I can definitely feel for my small business friends, especially restaurants right now that are being required to shut down. And really my position in this is unfortunately shut down my business, fell bankruptcy, starve and be homeless or to keep my business open because that's the only option I have to feed myself and support myself and my vision and, and in keeping people healthy too and boosting their immune systems by giving them a place that's safe and clean and socially distanced to work out. And so I just don't like that I have two of those very extreme options of shut down my business, go bankrupt, starve and be homeless, which is extreme, but only in the reason that my side hustles are canceled and I have friends who would help to support me and family. But my other option is to stay open and keep everything as clean as I have been, having it deep cleaned once a week, cleaning after every single client, making sure everything's sterile and safe. And then in nine months of this going on, no one's contracted COVID here. That's the option I'm gonna have to go with, which means if we're forced to shut down, I'm gonna have to refuse to do that for just survival. And I hate being put in that position because I, of course, don't want to put people in danger and I want to be a contributing member of society and I want this all to be over like everyone else does. 
So I just wanted to share my perspective and that it's not from a place of just fighting the system and refusing to adopt the rules and everything, but it's really just from a position of survival and wanting to keep my clients safe and healthy with strong immune systems as well. So I hope that this message can be shared from a perspective of a small business owner who does care about the community and just has a little bit different insight and different perspective than some other people who may be judging those uh, refusing to adopt the new rules.